Hello all dinosaurs and welcome back to a brand new video and today we have 150 dinosaurs from Mattel, Nanmo Studio, Peppo and all my favorite dinosaur figures inside this box. 150 of them, so let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. The first figure of the day, it's actually this newly repainted Scorpius Rex Gen 3, okay? Have you guys seen my review and how I painted this dinosaur figure? It's actually in my previous video. Go and check it out if you haven't done so, okay? So this is Gen 3 Scorpius Rex. We repainted this on our own. We will take another close look at this later on, okay? I'm just gonna place it right in front of our new Dan Surprise Neon Light logo. It looks pretty cool, right? Let me know down below, okay? Next up, let's take a look at this. This, it's the other Scorpius Rex, a smaller version, a green version from the Danger Pack. I'm just gonna place it right over here. It can stand very well. And of course, we have some new figures such as the um, Dimorphodon, which was relieved very recently. And we have just purchased this new Mecha Godzilla, or Me I mean Mecha King Ghidorah right over here. This is our very first figure of a King Ghidorah. Do you guys watch Godzilla? I mean, if you do, this will be great for you, right? All right, next up, let's take a look at another brand new figure. This is actually known as a Mesiatosaurus right over here. This is a new um, Fierce Force figure. It looks really nice a brand new species from Mattel. All right, another brand new um, figure from Mattel is actually this Sauropelta. This is actually a green colored um, version. Looks really nice as well. You can actually see the body can move. All right, and um, of course, there are more new figures such as a Sticky Moloch from Lego. This is also new re newly released. Um, another one right over here. Check this out. All right. This is a Dracorex, another new figure which was just released. And speaking of new figures, we are still waiting to get our hands on the, um, the new pair of Rutherford's. Where's my pair of scissors? Oh, it's right over here. Um, we, we have already got um, one pair of Rutherford's. We are hoping to get another one because that is a really rare figure. So let's see, what, what have we got? Oh, we've actually got an irritator right over here. It looks really nice as well, but we already have this figure. And not a new figure which was just released. It's actually this brand new Conotaurus Toro Lego figure. Looks really nice. All right, I'm gonna push this box slightly closer. Pull this box slightly closer towards us. And another Scorpius Rex right over here, Slash and Battle. I am thinking of creating an indoor Raptor um, and Scorpius Rex collection video really soon, probably next week. All right, another new figure that was just released. This is actually from um, the Legacy Collection um, pack set that comes with a vehicle. And this is the T-Rex. It is actually a brand new color, slightly darker in tone. I mean, if you compare it with the other T-Rex that are in this box, this is the epic roaring T-Rex. Okay. Yes, I've actually brought a lot of Nanmu Studio figures and this is actually one of my most favorite figures from Nanmu Studio. So this is a Mosasaurus. So Nanmu Studio is actually a brand, you know, which I really like, you know, along with Papo. So I, I have to get every single figure from Nanmu Studio and Papo as well. This is the Indoor Raptor from Nanmu Studio. Siets Miko Run, I'm thinking of doing a repaint of the Siets Miko Run, but you know, I'll probably do an Indominus Rex repaint next. I want you guys to suggest down below which other dinosaurs should we repaint. All right, this is a Majingosaurus that you know probably we can do with a repaint because this color scheme, I'm not a really a huge fan of it. Another new figure that was released very recently is actually this Raw Attack Ceratosaurus right over here. And this is also another brand new figure, a newly released um, Gallimimus, okay? Tarbosaurus, not a new figure, but I really love this color scheme, this turquoise. You know, it is actually very similar to some of these colors on the Scorpius Rex. I want you guys to let me know whether you guys like this new repainted Scorpius Rex, okay? Pecky Rhinosaurus is probably another candidate that we can also do a repaint. 
And next, let's take a look at some of our Papo figures. We have 155 dinosaurs, so we have to go fast. This is actually a running T-Rex, a green colored version. Um, a feathered Velociraptor right over here, looks really nice. And we do have a Fierce Force um, Velociraptor which was just released. There will be more new figures coming up, so I can't wait for that. Um, this is a Pachyrhinosaurus from, from Papo. So uh, yeah, so like what I've mentioned, I, I tend to collect every single Papo figures because I really love them. So this is a Gorgosaurus. But you know for brands like Safari, LTD and Collecte, I don't collect every single figure from them. I collect only those that I like. But for Papo, I try to collect every single one. This is a Pantoceratops right over here. It's a really beautiful figure. Next up, another one from Papo, which I feel um, this is not the usual Papo standard. This, this doesn't look really nice. A Margosaurus right over here. Um, we have a white Endoraptor from Danmu Studio as well. Oh yes, this is actually a very recent extreme damage Indominus Rex. I feel this is like one of the best Indominus, Indominus Rex figures from Mattel. It has two functions. One button actually triggers the internal part of the body to actually change its colors to reveal the injury and this button actually opens up its jaw of course it produces raws and Jonas Rex is really really a cool hybrid Kakaro Dontosaurus, okay, Mega Destroyer, really nice probably we can do a repaint of a Kakaro Dontosaurus as well that would be really cool Irritator, it's also another candidate that we can do for a repaint. Alright, and speaking of herbivores, we have plenty of herbivores inside this box. This is actually a Stegosaurus from Papo. Looks really nice. I really love the plates on um, the body. More Papo figures. An OV Raptor holding on to an egg. It's a really nice figure as well. Okay, this is actually a Gallimimus from Mattel. It came along with... um. Darius figure and um, this is a Nanmu Studio Ceratosaurus looks really nice I really like you know those figures with a base because it actually helps the dinosaur to stand really well instead of topper instead of falling over Ceratosaurus used to be one of my most favorite um, figures from Papo it's a really intricate and well detailed figure that I really like um, this is a, I'm not too sure, um, Sticky Morlock. Looks br brilliant as well. So you can see the figures from Papo, they're actually extremely well detailed and very realistic, which is why I really love them a lot. So yes, I think I have almost every single figure from Papo. Um, this is an Ankylosaurus. Hopefully Papo can come up with, come up with more Herbivores cause my Herbivore shelf is actually pretty empty. Running T-Rex, um, the brown version, the original version. I think there are more different versions um, inside this box. Dimorphodon is a really nice one from uh, Papo, which is a prehistoric flying reptile. Gassosaurus, okay, another really unique species from Mattel. Okay, really love this one. Hopefully, they can come up with a bigger version of it. I think that would be really nice. Zuniceratops released very recently. Okay, looks a it's a beautiful ceratops. Scutosaurus, a prehistoric animal, also a very, very cool species that Mattel has come up with. This is my one and only Scutosaurus figure. That's right, not kidding you. Aleoramus, which is also um, a Tyrannosaur, um, an Abelosaur to be exact. Looks really nice. Hopefully this figure can come up with a bigger version. I think that would be cool as well. We have plenty of Gallimimus from Mattel. This is actually the uh, Savage Strike, or was it the Legacy Collection? I can't re really remember. But this is basically a different um, color variation from the um, the new one. Okay, um, Charlie, I suppose. Oh, all right, all right. This is actually a new Lego figure, a Bumpy Mini Bumpy, and check this out. Allosaurus from Papo. This is a very, really nice version. There are two of them, two different colors. Um, okay, this figure, I don't really like this figure a lot because it keeps falling over a young Spinosaurus. Gallimimus on um, battle damage right over here. And a Conotaurus. I'm gonna pull the box closer towards me. Okay. Yeah. 
just give me one second. This is a Conotaurus, beautiful figure, but once again, it has problems standing as well. Motolophosaurus, there will be a new one coming out from Mattel really soon that comes along with a Kenji figure, if I'm not wrong. This is an Iguanodon, it looks really beautiful. So when it comes to herbivores, I think that aren't many from Peppo. Cryolophosaurus looks really beautiful, you can see. Looks so majestic. I really love the paint look on this. So probably you guys will want me to do like a Peppo collection. I didn't bring every single Peppo figures um, that I have over here. A Velociraptor looks really nice. Which is Jurassic Park inspired. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, this is known as a Chiliosaurus. Chiliosaurus, I'm not too sure whether I've got the pronunciation right, but along the lines of that. Archaeopteryx right over here. Um, another Monolophosaurus from Mattel. Some minifigures. This is a brand new one, a um, Conotaurus Toro. And um, this is a, a generic Conotaurus. Let's open this up. Hopefully, you can get the Parasaurolophus. Okay. We've got a Tabosaurus. That's not too bad. Okay, this is quite a nice one to have. Acrocanosaurus from Peppo, really, really beautiful. I really like this and the Ceratosaurus so much. This was like from 2017, if I'm, if I'm not wrong. Really beautiful figure. Um, this is a um, Silophrysis, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Pteranodon from Peppo. All the Peppo figures, they are very Jurassic Park. Um, you know, very Jurassic Park squid, you know, I, I mean, as in, yeah, they look very much like Jurassic, the Jur Jurassic Park dinosaurs, sorry. I'm not too sure why is my tongue tight, you know, today. Styracosaurus, right over here. And uh, a really beautiful and huge Amagosaurus from Safari LTD. So I've brought plenty of Safari LTD figures as well. So this is our, an Indoraptor, so yes. Should we do an indoor raptor, you know, with Scorpius Rex collection video? I think many of you guys will want me to do it. Let's see, you know, down below, okay? Um, Parasaurolophus, we have two of them, check them out. This is a, a newer version with like stripes and a red hat. Um, this it's a green Parasaurolophus, so both of them actually looks really good. Not too sure which one do you guys prefer more. So, as as what I've mentioned, I try to collect every single figure that, you know, Mattel or has, Peppo and also Nanmu Studio, because these are actually my most favorite brands. Nanmu Studio, Mattel and Peppo. Sauropelta, the very first version. We have a Brachiosaurus. This is actually a new version from um, the Blind Bags. Conotaurus from Nanmu Studio looks really nice. This is actually a red version. There is a green one. So I think Nanmu Studio usually comes up with like um, um, two different colors. Allosaurus from um, Peppo. This is actually the original one. Where was our um, um, the, the, the new one? Can't, can't find it. I think it's okay. Um, okay, right over here we have a Dilophosaurus. Beautiful figure, but this figure itself um, it also has some problems standing. Young T Rex right over here looks really adorable. It's like looking up um, at his or her mommy. Triceratops from Safari LTD, beautiful figure as well. I only buy those figures that I like from Safari LTD or, or you know maybe species that I don't have. I don't collect every single one from all of them. This it's a uh, Delta if I'm if I'm not wrong. Okay. This it's a Diplodocus, a beautiful figure. Okay. This is actually from Natural History Museum. Really beautiful figure. Really long and um heavy figure, solid figure. I'm gonna turn the box over. It, there are still plenty of um, dinosaurs over here. Let's just turn the box over here. This one right here is a um, Spinosaurus. This is our Spinosaurus from Nanmu Studio. Really beautiful figure as well. 
huge Spinosaurus, the Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus 2021 version. Really beautiful paint work. I, I think it looks better than um, the grey coloured version. What do you guys think? Another really, really cool figure, Epicanosaurus Repaint. Yes, this is actually a new color from um, Peppo. There are two of them. Indominus Rex from Nanmu Studio. One of my very first um, Indominus Rex figures from Nanmu Studio. I love it, but this figure itself, it has some problem standing. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Is it because of my shelf? Because my shelf is actually not super even. So probably, you know, after a long time, the legs tend to get robbed. This is actually a Giganotosaurus, which is one of the most controversial um, figures that Peppo has ever created. Cause a lot of fans actually felt that the act, this pose is really weird. But it's still a nice figure to have, very well detailed and really nicely painted. Just um, the, the pose is really weird. A running T-Rex, but in a different color variation, really nice as well. I really love all the running T-Rex from uh, Peppo to be, to be honest with you. But not all of them can stand well, okay? And Colosaurus from Nanmu Studio, I wouldn't recommend you to buy this for young, young kids because the, the thorns are really sharp to be really honest. So they are not toys, they're definitely for you to display only, okay? Not suitable for little kids. This one is from Peppo. Peppo um, figures are much safer because they put their horns, they, they, they made their horns as a soft rubber material so it doesn't really you know, hurt people. Of course, it's still slightly sharp but still pretty good. Triceratops is known as the three horned face. This one right here, okay, I'm not too sure whether this is, this is a Therizinosaurus or is this like a um, a, a subspecies of a Therizinosaurus. If you guys know, please help me out down below, okay? A Velociraptor, I think this is inspired a lot by um, the figures from, I mean, the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. This is a Polar Canthus right over here from Peppo, if I'm not wrong. So this is a really unique dinosaur. You can see the spikes, they like stop halfway in between and this part is like covered with really tough osteoderms or like armor for the, the dinosaurs. Some new Snap Squad, this is an attitude if I'm not wrong. Okay, looks really adorable. A Velociraptor. I'm gonna turn the box over once again, okay? We turn it like 90 degrees just now, so we have to turn it at another 90 degrees. A Baryonyx right over here. This is actually a Raw Attack Baryonyx. Really beautiful one. Extreme Chomp, um, Extreme Damage T-Rex. With no sounds, but you can actually turn the body inside. Really cool figure. Um, you can't move the jaw. I mean, you have you can move the jaw manually. There are no buttons to actually trigger it. Really nice figure to have. I really love the patterns on, on top of its body. Looks awesome. The very first Mattel figure that I owned was actually this Conotaurus um, action attack. It used to be my number one most favorite uh, Mattel figure, but right now, I mean, there's so many more new beautiful ones coming out, so it's really hard for us to choose one. This, it's a T-Rex from Nanmu Studio. There's a green version and also a brown version. Both are equally amazing, and I got both of them. I didn't bring every single one to show you guys. A Petasaurus from Safari LTD, a really beautiful one as well, okay? really detailed as well. So right over here we have a Triceratops and this is actually from a Japanese brand known as Favorite Co. Yep, that's right, Favorite Collection. Another one from them. This is our uh, Easter You can see some really beautiful red spots on his body. Looks really beautiful. And Colosaurus from Natural History Museum. Not the most accurate looking um, uh, and Kalsaurus, but a really nice figure to collect because Natural History Museum, they don't really come up with a lot of figures so I'm really happy to have owned one of uh, a few of them. This is a Nigerosaurus which is a really really interesting um, sauropod you can see, the mouth 
it's really straight. Probably it's basically to like scrape off tree bark. The skin of a tree is known as bark. Yeah, probably so. This is a Dracorax, I think. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. A 2012 oh, Safari LTD figure. Really nice figure to have as well. Another one from Favorite Clothes is actually an Allosaurus. Some Snap Squad attitudes right over here. This is a Dimorphodon. You can see the eyes are actually very sleepy. Um, a Snap Squad a little T-Rex. You can see the T-Rex looks a little bit terrified. You know, the, the jaws, the, the upper teeth are showing, and it, it looks it looks kind of worried. And the eyes are seems to be frowning as well. Yep. Parasaurolophus from Campantasia. I really love this a lot because of the colors are really bright and vibrant and it has a shiny uh, sheen to it. Okay, this should be a Gryposaurus. If, if I'm not, oh, this is actually an Iguanodon from Safari LTD. Also a beautiful classic figure from, from them. This should be from 2017 if, if I'm not wrong. Yes, that's right. So I remember 2017 they released a set of, of really beautiful dinosaur figures and I got the entire set yeah that's right oh this is one beautiful um, Spinosaurus from Peppo Quadrupedo huge figure gigantic uh, the tail is actually really well made but soft, soft at the same time the spine looks amazing it's a Quadrupedo Spinosaurus overall this is an amazing figure from, um, from Peppo really beautiful one you know, and another really beautiful figure is actually one from Nanmu Studio, a Stegosaurus. So you can see the Stegosaurus actually looks like those that you can find in the Jurassic Park franchise, right? Yep, I really love all the figures from you know Nanmu Studio. I, I collect every single one of them. This should be a Diplodocus. Yep, that's right, a 2017 Safari LTD figure. You can see it has a really nice curvy and elegant long tail. Okay, a favorite cold Brachiosaurus, really really hard to find as well. I got this online from Japan directly because favorite Co is actually a um, Japanese toy brand. Yep, Australovanator. This is this this figure actually holds a lot of memories. This is actually a 2014 figure, and um, it was actually from Australian Age of Dinosaur Museum. I contacted them and they sent me one to review for free. I was really happy because that was like one of our very very first you know figures that you know companies actually sent us free for review so I was super delighted. Right over here it looks like we have a Sauropelta so you can I mean just now I've shown you guys Sauropelta from Mattel so this one is actually from Safari LTD a 2015 figure so 2015 wow it is like six years yep that's right and speaking of six years i think dan surprise has been around for seven years going into our eighth year next month gryposaurus yes so i'll be doing like a you know, dan surprise special eight years old special probably yeah Dan surprise is like a little small kid yeah um this is a regali ceratops if i'm if i'm not wrong which is known as the royal horn face if i'm not wrong yeah it's a really beautiful ceratops option with like the plenty of little spikes, round up spikes across the entire crown, which is why it looks very, very uh, majestic. Oh, let me get this up. Oh, our Scorpius Rex. So, do you guys like my Scorpius Rex repaint? I put this over here. It took me about a day to paint it. Not extremely difficult. Um, a Patasaurus from Peppo. I really love the figures from Peppo, but you know, one of thing that they can improve. On is probably maybe having the names of the dinosaurs written right below. I think that would be really helpful. But of course, you know, do you guys know that Papo is actually a French brand? So they may want to, you know, add on like French and English text at the same time. A Magosaurus from Favorite Co. Not the most detailed figure, but also a very rare figure. I got this online from Japan, so it didn't um, cost me. Um, um, it, is, it isn't cheap basically. Okay, Styracosaurus from Favorite Co. Beautiful and Calosaurus from Safari LTD, also from the 2017 collection, I think. If I'm not wrong. 2018. So, yeah, I think that year, 2017, was a really memorable year for Dan Surprise. Yeah. 
This is a Sotosaurus, if I'm not wrong, Carnegie Sotosaurus. Yep. A 1996 figure. Wow, this is super old. 1996, oh my goodness. That is like 25 years? Yes, or, or is it more? Um, yeah, 25 years. Around there, yeah. 1996. Around there, 25 years. Wow. Beautiful figure. Um, this one is actually a new Plocephalus, really beautiful one. Some minifigures from Science Museum, Science and Nature. Colonel Taurus, it still has the tag on it. Um, this is a Reeker of Mosasaurus, really beautiful figure. Pecky Rhinosaurus. Oh, I need your source. I beg your pardon from Safari LTD. Uh, we don't have many Ineosaurus. This is a Malawi Saurus from Safari LTD. Really beautiful figure as well. Yep, a 2019 figure. Pecky Rhinosaurus right over here, that which is the thick nose lizard. A Parasaurolophus from Safari LTD. This one, I'm not too sure what it is. It's not a Cantrosaurus. I think this is a Lexobisaurus. Yep. This later one right here, it's a, um, let's see, what's this? Can't really see it. Leonisaurus. Yeah, not too sure what is the correct pronunciation. This is definitely a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This should be an Iguanodon. Oh, it's actually a Mutabasaurus. Mutabasaurus. I beg your pardon, man. I mean, yeah, it's really hard to tell from the little figure. Pachycephalosaurus for sure. And a Spinosaurus that you guys will surely know. This is the Cold Crested Lizard, which is the Cryolophosaurus. Acrocanosaurus from um, Terra by Patat. Really nice figure to have. Really rare as well. Paris Rolifers from Favorite Cole. Really beautiful, can stand very well. Cytacosaurus. This is a really interesting dinosaur. This is actually part of Ceratopsian family. They are closely related to Triceratops. Yeah. Conotaurus. Let's move on. Stegosaurus. This has got to be one of the most controversial Stegosaurus figures that has ever been produced. So they're basically like eight spikes at the end of the tail. Yeah, really weird one. This it's a uh, Vagoceratops, if I'm not wrong. Yes, it's right, Vagoceratops. So there are plenty of different Ceratopsians, to be honest. Ceratosaurus from um, favorite from Terra by Patet. Another Terabyvatet figure, which is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Huge one. You know, something dropped um, a Velociraptor from... This is actually from a book called... Um, called what? Fidel. Yes, that's right. Favorite cool Stegosaurus. Really beautiful. I love this color scheme a lot. I think green mixed with orange is like the most amazing colors that you can find. It's a really good mix. And armored um, Triceratops with, you know, like better armor. Really cool figure. A Snap Squad, a Sleepy Stegosaurus. A Conotaurus from um, Terrama Batet. A Mosasaurus from the Camp Cretaceous series. Shiny version. And this one, the shiny Parasaurolophus, beautiful one. Brachiosaurus, the older version, the original version, not the new green one. Oh, some key, the key to my shelf. All right, I think we are just left with a couple of our small figures and we are done. Oh my goodness, it dropped. Yes, this one right here is actually a Tobosaurus, Irritator, Sitsmikorum, yes, as you guys can see, the Parasaurolophus is the hardest one to find. A green T-Rex, which is not a new figure. And 
last but not least, a um, what's this? Stegosaurus baby. That's right. Yes, that's right. So that's all we have today. 155. I think that could probably be 160 dinosaurs. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I want you guys to let me know which one is your most favorite dinosaurs from this box. I'm definitely going with the Gen 3 um, Scorpius Rex as my most favorite because I put in so much effort into it. The other one I'm going to go with um, the Indominus Rex Extreme Damage version and probably uh, Indoraptor. So next week, do you guys want to watch a collection video of Indoraptor vs Scorpius Rex? Let me know down below or you know, do you guys prefer other collection? Alright, let me know and I'll try my best to um, do it. And also, should we repaint the Indominus Rex or should we repaint um, uh, a CXB current? Alright, let me know and give me some suggestions on how we should actually repaint the Indominus Rex, okay? Thanks for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.